My name's Graham Smart and I'm a former maths AST. I worked in the borough of Lewisham in South East London for 10 years and then since then I've been working as a maths and e-learning consultant among a variety of different schools and publishers delivering all sorts of projects. The big thing that most people are concerned about in the current changes is the fact that the content, there's so much more content to cover but actually probably at the core of it is the fo focus on problem solving. Problem solving and fluency across the maths curriculum is actually a really good thing. It, it adds that layer of relevance to students. I'm not talking necessarily about specifically maths problems, I'm talking about real world problems that require maths to solve them. I mean that's something I've always felt you know, has probably been my biggest strength as a teacher was creating sort of scenarios where students would actually concentrate on solving the problem and they actually almost forget about the maths that they were using to solve it. One of the things that's on the new curriculum is, you know, it's just come in, so this is something that I've, I've designed, you know, on job offers. So it's a, it's a progression, so you get three job offers, for example. One, it starts at £12,000 a year but goes up £800 every year. The second job offer starts at £14,000 and goes up £500 every year. Okay, which job's best for you after two years? Is the same job the best for you after 10 years? There will be a point where one job becomes better than the other, but there's discussion in there. What happens if you leave after two years? Are you going to stay in that job? There's, there's no right or wrong answer. It's a problem that requires some analysis and then it's interpretation. That sort of conversation, it brings debate. It's still problem solving though. Once you have the scenarios, you can tweak them, you can differentiate them so that different students can access it at different points. But the problem, the relevance is the key. You hook, that's the hook, that gets them engaged and then you can build the maths around it. For instance, the rock concert idea, designing a rock concert, that covers 12 lessons and it's a complete suite of resources. And it goes from things like designing you know, your target audience, you've got to think about your playlist then. Where you're building a, a, a playlist for your concert with the most popular acts based on the Twitter followers, which are, numbers are in standard form. There's lots of little connections to the maths curriculum that are subtle. Do you want to get people to come in at the beginning of the concert? Or do you want them to stay to the end? Would you put... There's no right or wrong answer there. You might want them to be there at the beginning, but you might want them to be there at the end. So it's, it's how you would play it. After they've got their playlist together, they have to design their stage set. So this is all to do with compound shapes, working out areas, scales, all, a lot of from the geometry and measure. There's all these different arenas. They have to work out which acts can perform in which arenas. Because you don't want to book one that's too small. Not good. A lot of money you're going to waste. So the idea being that you, you work out the performance area, which is actually working out the area of compound shapes, which is in the curriculum, but then you apply the problem solving aspect that only certain acts can play in certain venues. So you can only actually go ahead and book certain ones. The good thing about these types of resources is a really low ability student could do it with some squares and some rectangles put together. And a really top student would be using trigonometry and all sorts of other mathematical skills. But in essence, they are solving the same problem. On the Edexcel website, there will be lots of resources and ideas available for problem solving. They're basically split into three main categories. Simple ideas with problem solving, sort of the starters and the plenaries, things that you could implement very quickly. One lesson ideas, which are single lesson ideas that are problem solving focused. And then the themed ideas, which are you know, 10 to 12 lessons that could potentially run over a couple of weeks or half a term, etc. In order for the new curriculum to really work and for, kid, for, for, for pupils to have the outcomes that we want them to have, to success, the exam boards, the teachers, all of the, the various people in the process all have to work together. They have to communicate effectively and they have to, to actually share ideas and, and support each other. I think on a number of levels Pearson are going to help to aid the collaboration process between all the different parties. I think the key thing is, is the CPD and all of the, the insets that they're offering. I think the resources that are, gonna, are, that are available are really, really important. But also I think actually what will happen with the, the new specs and all the support materials that are available already are really, really helpful as well. Mm -hmm.